Hey, it's Gary here with Pal Music, and in this video, we're gonna do a five minute beginner strumming workout. We're gonna go over some simple strumming patterns, starting at a slower tempo, and then moving our way to a faster tempo. Now, all these strumming patterns are eighth note strumming patterns. That means we're gonna take a measure of music, and we're gonna divide it into one and two and three and four and. So there's eight segments. We've got four downbeats, one, two, three, four, and four upbeats, the end of each downbeat. So if we were gonna play on all eight, it would be this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So in level one, we're just gonna do simple strumming patterns, non-syncopated strumming patterns. That means that you'll never have an up strum that's not preceded by a down strum. These are really simple. Down, 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 up, down. One, two, three, and four. In the next video, we're gonna do some syncopated strums where you might have up strums that are not preceded by down strums. Now that might sound like it's not a big deal, but you'll see, there's a big difference in difficulty there. One, two, and, and four, and down, down, up, up, down, up. Now to really nail this, there's two technique tips to keep in mind before we get started. The first thing is that you have to keep your wrist really loose. So think about it this way. You just washed your hands in the bathroom and there's no paper towels and you're just shaking that water off your hand. Right? So you wouldn't have a stiff hand, you wouldn't karate chop the water off, you would have a loose wrist like this, okay? Or you could think about it like you just took a nap on your hand and you woke up and it's asleep and it's like this. The second thing is no matter what the strumming pattern, you're gonna always keep a constant down up motion. To get to a really advanced place of strumming, It's really important that that's always constant and you just select when to hit the strings and when to ghost the strings. And when you're ghosting them, you might come up without hitting them or you might go down without hitting them. But we want to avoid the robot, which is this. And we want to avoid the all down strum, which is this. Instead, we want this. See that? All right, so with that in mind, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get started at 70 beats per minute. We're gonna start just with mutes, like this, okay? This is just gonna help hear the rhythm better and make sure we're really locked in. We're gonna do each pattern four times. Okay, here we go. One, two, here we go. Down, 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 down. One, two, three, four, down, down. Down, down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. Down, 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 up, down, one, two, three, and four. Down, 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 up, down, one, two, and three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, one, two, and three, four. Down. Awesome. All right, now we're gonna do 85 beats per minute and we're gonna do an E minor chord. What's great about the E minor is we don't have to worry about muting any strings and we can strum all the strings. Here we go. And a one, two, here we go. One, two.
Hello. Awesome. All right, now if that was tough for you, rewind. That's the great thing about YouTube videos. Go back, watch it again, try it at the slower tempo, or even use the playback speed control in YouTube to do it at an even slower tempo. So find what works for you. If you're doing all right and you got through 70 and 85, let's bring it up to 105. A one, two, one, two, here we go. Down, 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 down. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Down, 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 up, down. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Down, down, up, down, down. One, two, and three, four. Down, down, up, down, down. One, two, and three, four. One, and two. Finish it off, let's do it at 130 beats per minute. And a one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, I hope you found that strumming workout helpful. This is just an excerpt of my full strumming course that has a whole bunch of different strumming workouts and other technique tips to get you from total beginner to pro level strummer. So we go over not only the simple and the syncopated eighth note patterns, we get into 16th note patterns, different time signatures, swing versus straight rhythm, how to add accents to your strumming, incorporating muting techniques, mixing single notes with strumming, an index of different strumming patterns that you could download, over 15 video lessons, and the link to all that is below. If you wanna download the strum patterns that are in this video, you can do so at patreon.com slash palmusic. That's where you could support Pal Music for as little as $1 a month and receive tablature and other supporting resources for all of my lessons. Hope you had fun with this. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.